Hey, welcome back everyone. Welcome to Booga Buggy Kid Stories. In today's episode, Booga Buggy sneaks along for Elon's summer camping vacation and makes some unexpected friends. All right, let's get going. Elon and Pfeiffer were so excited. It was summertime and they knew exactly what that meant. It's time for camping! Woohoo! Their favorite time of the year! Mom and Dad were busy packing everything up. They had loaded their clothes, lots of food, and they put it in their little travel trailer. Elon and Pfeiffer were gathering their toys and games and books for the ride, too. They knew it was going to be a pretty long ride. Well, Mom and Dad always said it was about two and a half hours, but to Elon it felt like it was at least... 20 hours. But after gathering their books, all their toys, they packed them in the truck and they were ready to go. Meanwhile, Booga Buggy realized it was summer as well. And for him, summer was a little bit different. He was confused by what happens in summer because every single summer, all of a sudden, this family that he liked to do mischievous stuff to disappeared for a couple weeks. So this year was going to be different for him. He had decided he's going to explore and find out where this family goes. Where do they disappear to? So while everyone was packing up, mom and dad with the food, Elon and Pfeiffer with toys and books, Booga Buggy sneaked into the trailer, creaked open one of the cupboards, hopped inside, and waited to go along on this great new adventure. When he was sitting there, all of a sudden he felt a couple bumps. Oh, they must be off on their adventure. Where are they going to take me, he wondered. It got pretty bumpy in the trailer. And after a while, he started to get pretty hungry. Luckily, the cupboards that he went into were the food cupboards. So he ripped open the Honey Nut Cheerios and began chomping on all of the cereal. Then off to the popcorn. Ooh, and there was candy. So he broke open the candy bag and and ate the entire candy. His stomach was starting to feel a little bit weird from eating so much, but there was just so much food. And the trip was pretty long, so he just kept eating and eating and eating until almost all of the food in the cupboard was gone. So after he was done, he decided to take a nap. He wanted to have lots of energy for when they got to their destination on this great adventure. So he laid his head down and started to go to sleep. And then, urge! Oh, he must be here. The trailer was slowing down. He jumped out of the cupboard and peeked out the trailer window. (gasps) They were in a forest. This is pretty strange, he thought. Why did we leave a nice house to go into a forest? Well, he'd have to think about that a little bit later because he needed to hide. So he jumped out of the cupboard and crawled under the covers so that Elon and Pfeiffer wouldn't see him and that he snuck along for the trip. He heard the door open to the trailer. I think it was the mom and dad. And they were going to unpack everything to get ready. So they opened the cupboard. (gasps) And he heard them gasp. All of the food was gone. What are they going to do? They looked at each other and at first wondered if they forgot to pack it. But then they saw all the packaging was just open, but the food was gone. Oh no, they thought. We're going to have to go into town to get more food. So they unpacked the trailer, they detached it from the truck, and they took Elon, Pfeiffer, Mom and Dad into town to go get some more food for the camping trip. All right, thought Booga Buggy, this is my time to explore. Everyone's gone. So he ripped open the covers, he crawled over to the door and snuck through a little crack in the trailer door to look around the forest. Well, there he saw there was a a table... I mean, that's kind of weird for being in a forest, but okay. And they looked over in another direction, and it looked like a fire pit. It's like, that could be kind of fun. 
but something caught Boogabuggy's attention moving in the forest. He looked over. Oh, that's cool. There's a bear. And beside the bear, there was a raccoon. And up on the tree, there was a bunch of birds called Whiskey Jacks. And over in another tree, there were some squirrels and a little gopher named Gophie. Well, they all had a weird look in their eye. And what he saw was they were all running to the campsite, scrounging for food. Oh no! So Booga Buggy quickly jumped back into the trailer to see what was going to happen. And what he saw from the window was the bear rummaging around the table, the whiskey jacks flying around to see if there's any crumbs, and the squirrels and Gophie and others, again, looking for crumbs everywhere. Booga Buggy realized that the animals were just hungry. He didn't know he wasn't supposed to feed them, but he had an idea. There was one more cupboard of food that he hadn't got into and eaten everything. So he grabbed a whole bunch of the food and supplies and brought it out to the table outside and said, Animals, I have food for you. The bear was the first to arrive. He grabbed a box of pancake mix, a frying pan, a flipper, and the camp stove and started to make pancakes for everyone. Next, the raccoon came over. He grabbed the graham crackers, a chocolate bar, and some marshmallows, then headed over to the fireplace to start making some s'mores. The squirrels and the gopher named Gophie came up, and they took cookies. But the squirrels decided to bury some of the cookies for their family. By the time the Whiskey Jack birds came over to the table, all of the food was gone already. So they decided they still wanted to help out. And they grabbed some string lights that were solar lights. And they wanted to help set them up to make the camping site look nice. And so they grabbed them and they tried to look around for where they could hang them up. Booga Buggy was curious to see what all of his friends were up to. So he walked over to Bear first to see how the pancake making was going. But oh my goodness, Bear must have been super hungry because he had made over a thousand pancakes. There was a massive pile taking up the entire table there at the campsite. Oh boy, I hope you're hungry, Bear, thought Booga Buggy. Next, he walked over to Raccoon, who was over by the fire pit, who was going to make some s'mores. But what he saw was Raccoon trying to start a fire, but every time he did, the spark just started to singe his fur. Ooh, ow, ow, said the raccoon. Oh boy, thought Booga Buggy. I don't know if this is ever going to happen. Next, he saw Gofi sitting on a stump over by a pile of cookies. Gofi seemed pretty happy, and he was just watching everyone as well. But then he saw the squirrels running around frantically. And he asked them, excuse me, squirrels, what's going on? The squirrel stopped, looked over at Booga Buggy, and said, we can't find our cookies that we buried. We forget where we buried them. Booga Buggy replied back, it's okay. You don't have to worry. Gophie has a pile over there that you guys can have some. And Bear made a lot of pancakes, and I'm sure he wouldn't mind sharing too. By this time, it was getting a little bit later in the day and starting to get a little bit dark outside, too. And he noticed something shining up in the tree. So he crawled up the tree and he realized that the Whiskey Jacks found a spot to put those string lights. They had hung them up around their tree to make their nest look bright at night. Oh boy, thought Booga Buggy. Well, Bear had finished cooking all of his pancakes, and so Booga Buggy gathered all of his new friends around and said, All right, it's pancake and cookie time! Because Raccoon wasn't able to make the s'mores after all. So they all came back, the Whiskey Jacks, Gophy, the Squirrels, the Bear and the Raccoon, and Booga Buggy, and they had a feast. After everyone had their fair share of pancakes and cookies for dinner... Booga Buggy decided to start the fire because he knew how to. Raccoon was so thankful to him, and some of the animals that were still hungry decided to make a few s'mores. Well, after s'mores, there was only one last thing to do that the forest animals needed to teach Booga Buggy about, and that was singing around the campfire. 
So they decided to sing. Mom, Dad, Elon, and Pfeiffer were just pulling up to the campsite, and when they stopped, they were amazed. There was a bear, a raccoon, whiskey jacks, some squirrels, and gophie, and booga buggy sitting around the campfire. And to their astonishment, they heard the singing. Well, I mean, I don't know if you can call that singing, but at least they heard the animal noises. So Dad hopped out of the truck grabbed a broom and shoot all the animals away so that the family could have their camping spot back. They unloaded all the groceries and packed it up into the trailer, and they enjoyed a wonderful camping trip after that. Booga Buggy was able to stay hidden for the rest of the camping trip and also sneak back into the trailer to come home. And on the way home, Booga Buggy now knew why the family always leaves every summer to go camping. And it was so much fun. He couldn't wait till next year to go back and meet his forest friends again. All right, that wraps up our story for today. Thanks for listening about Booga Buggy sneaking along for the summer camping trip and making a whole bunch of new forest friends. Please leave a rating or a review wherever you listen to your podcasts and stick around for the next episode. Bye for now.